Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm so happy to have you. Today we're gonna do a highly requested video, a body weight Pilates. So no equipment needed, unless you would like to spice it up and grab ankle weights. That would be a great addition to this class. Otherwise, we don't need any equipment. So when you're ready, let's get started. We'll start with a little stretch. Start hands and knees, tabletop. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll start with a couple of cat cows, but find a neutral spine to start. Soft bend in the elbows, core is slightly engaged. And then on your inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck round, push into the hands, arch the back. A couple more like that. Inhale, opening. Exhale to tuck in round. So warming up the spine, we're gonna do lots of core work. Notice how it feels today. Maybe it feels tight, sore. Maybe it feels good and you're ready. Whatever it is, know that that sensation is temporary. Just as everything that we're gonna do in class today, it will be temporary. We'll find a burn, it will be intense sometimes, but know that you can push through it. Come to a neutral table. Let's reach the right arm and the left leg out. On your exhale, pull, elbow to knee underneath you. Again, inhale to reach, exhale to pull. Inhale to reach, exhale to pull. Inhale to reach, exhale to pull. Beautiful, inhale to reach, exhale, bend into the knee, take hold with the right hand. Kick the foot into the hand, finding a tiger pose, stretching the front body. So hip flexor, psoas, quad on the left leg, front of the right shoulder and the chest. Beautiful, then gently release, take the arm and leg long, and then we're gonna transition to a modified side plank. Right hand down, left arm opens up as the left foot plants. On your next in-breath, gate pose, stretching the side bodies. On your out-breath, land in that side plank. Inhale to lift, exhale to land. Last one, inhale to lift. This time, exhale to land in a tabletop, both knees down. We'll switch sides, inhale, reach left arm and right leg long. Exhale, pull in. Again, inhale to reach. Exhale to pull. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. Last one. Inhale to reach, exhale, bend the right knee. Take the left hand to meet it and then kick. Foot into hand, hand into foot. Soft bend in the bottom elbow still. Roll the right shoulder down the back. Breathe in, release breath out. Then take your right or your left hand down, your right foot down, we're spinning to that side plank. So left foot over to the left side, right foot is planted. Open your right arm and then use your breath in to lift all the way up, side bend. And then back to that side plank shape. Couple more, warming up the spine. Last one. This time we'll spin all the way down, tabletop. Meet in a child's pose. Knees wide, toes together, stretching the hips a bit, reaching the fingers forward, letting the head rest. Finding a moment here to close the eyes, soften the breath, and simply be. One more, breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Next, inhale, press up onto the hands, and then sweep the feet in front of you. We're gonna come to our back. We'll do a full sit up. So, we're gonna start all the way down onto the back body. Feet planted, arms reach overhead. We'll lift the arms up, and then start to curl the spine up, dig the heels into the mat. Reach forward for the toes, finding a stretch in the back side of the legs. Roll all the way down so slow, using every muscle in the core and reach the arms overhead. So arms lift, shoulders back, all the way up, reach forward, and then lower down. So moving at a pace that works for you. The slower you go, especially on the way down, the more challenging it will be for the core. Can you lower one vertebra at a time? 
reaching forward and rolling back. Beautiful. We'll take a couple more. Keep breathing. Maybe you can reach farther forward each time as we open the legs. Starting to feel that shake in my core. Last one. Let's hold it here, reach forward. So you're leaning forward, belly button is engaged towards the spine, and then open your right arm to the right, finding a twist. Reach back forward, switch. Open the left arm to the left, reach forward. So you're folding forward slightly, and then reaching open. Again, moving in the transverse plane, twisting. Rolling the shoulder back, yes. Beautiful. Reach and reach. This time stay forward, drop the chin in towards the chest and just hold here. Belly button to spine, reaching the fingers past the toes if you can get them there. Big stretch for the back body. Breathing in, breathing out, reach a little bit more. Breathing in, breathing out. One more inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, come all the way up to a seat and then sweep the feet, or sweep the hands rather, down by your side. Step the feet in. Inhale to press the hips up, reverse table. Drop the head back. Now we're stretching the front body. Breath in, breath out. Gently release, come down onto your seat, cross the feet, and then come to a tabletop. We'll do a little booty sequence. In our tabletop, we'll add some twisting to that. So let's start with the right leg. Stretch it back long, and we'll just lift and lower. So we'll go up, down, straight leg lift. So I want you to feel your glute max. It's that big, fleshy muscle. And this is one of its prime functions. It does this extension back behind you, so you'll really feel that working. Hamstring will be feeling it too. Core is engaged, soft bend in the elbows. Yes, eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, and we'll keep it lifted in four, three, we'll find clockwise circles in two, one right here, a little circle, like you're painting a circle with your big toe behind you. Woo, really feeling that. Here's four, we switch the circle. Three, two, and one, switch direction. Circle, counterclockwise or the opposite of what you just did. Circle, circle, four more. Here's four, we're gonna pull straight up to the sky. In three, two, one, right here, pull straight up, lift. Lift, we're not here long. We're gonna move to a combo. So we're gonna take the right toes down as we open the left arm to the left. And then we'll thread the left arm underneath us, underneath the right arm, as we lift the leg to this shape. So we'll tap right toes down, lift left arm open, find a little twist. Thread under as you lift the right leg, yes. So we'll lift up, thread under, lift up, Thread under, I want you to start to feel your core. Your right leg is still working. Your right shoulder is stabilizing. Lots going on in this shape. Keep breathing. Hips stay square to your mat. We got eight more, you've got it. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Here's four. We're gonna keep the arm underneath. A little pulse with the right leg. In two, one right here, lift. So you're just holding the left arm. If you need to, you can take it back down. That's your modification. Lift, lift, we're almost to the other side. Lift, lift. All right, let's do four. Three, two, one. Drop your left hand in your right knee. Woo, awesome job. Left leg goes back this time. We'll just start with the leg right here. Lift up, lower down, 
core is engaged. You're lifting left side now. Lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down. Nice. It is hot in here. The sun is very warm. Definitely breaking a sweat right now. Lift, lower, lift. Eight more. Here's eight. Seven. Can you resist gravity on the way down? Yes. Here's four. We keep it lifted. We find those clockwise circles. In three, two, one right here. Circle. Circle. Can you keep your leg up to a height that you feel the burn? So it doesn't have to be in line with your hip. It doesn't have to look like me. As long as you feel that burn in your hamstring and your glute, you're doing it right. All right, switch that circle right here, counterclockwise. Make it really small, really precise. The rest of the body is stabilizing you as you move. Circle, circle. All right, we move to that pulse in two. One right here, just straight up, little lift. Feel your glute max. It is on fire. Little lift, little lift. Yes, lift, 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 lift. All right, let's find that combo move right here. Right or left toes down, right arm reaches out to the sky. Thread it back through, left leg will lift. Reach up. Thread it through, reach up, thread it through. So your left foot is acting as a stability as you open to your twist. Can you roll your shoulders open and back? Yes, so strong. Lift and thread. All right, we're gonna hold the arm under. Find a little pulse in two. In one, right here, hold it under, little pulse. Lift, modification is take the right hand back down to your tabletop, pull straight up. Lift, lift, we're almost there, lift, lift. Here's four, here's three, here's two, and one, drop it down. Woo, awesome job, all right. We're gonna come down onto our left side. Just gonna fix my mic so it doesn't get in the way. All right, left side is down. You're laying all the way down on the bicep. Bottom knee is bent, left knee is bent, right leg is long. We're gonna start with a rainbow. So the right hand is in front of you to stabilize. We'll tap the right foot in front and then we'll rainbow it back. So we'll go forward, back, forward, back, yes. Breathe, tap, tap. All right, your hips are stacked. I'm already feeling it. This is the booty burnout. Forward, back, yes. So good. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Let's do eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, here's four, here's three. Then we're going to land the knees together. We'll find a clamshell. In, two, one, knees together, open, close, lift, lower. All right, external rotation, lift, lower. Here's four, here's three, here's two. We're gonna keep it lifted. Next time, pulse it up, little lift, little lift, lift. All right, think about pressing your right knee back behind you. You could even feel that working in your right glute. Tap, tap, you're laying on your left side still. Tap, tap. Let's do eight more, you've got it. Here's eight, here's six, here's four. Then we're gonna lift the toes in line with the knee. Right here, keep it open, toes up, toes down. Toes up, toes down. We're close to being done with this side. Give me four more. Here's four, three, 
two, one, drop it down. We're gonna sweep the feet around. So come up to a seat, come all the way onto your right side this time. Lay the head onto the right bicep, right knee is bent, left leg is long. Let's start with that rainbow. Tap it forward, so we'll tap forward, tap it back. Tap it forward, tap it back. All right, so now you're moving left leg, hips are stacked, core is engaged. Left hand is in front of you for stability. You could take it to your hip if you wanna challenge yourself. Forward, back, yes. Foot is pointed. Forward, back, upper body is relaxed. You've got it. Eight more, here's eight, seven, six, five, you've got it. Here's four, here's three, then we're gonna take the knees together, we'll find that clamshell. In two, in one, right here, knees together. We open, close, open, close. Feel this working. Glute max also does the external rotation, so taking it away from the midline. It's that abduction. And the inner thigh does the adduction, so pulling back in together. Yes. In, out. All right, we tap it back right here. Tap it back, little push, push. Squeeze, I am feeling that so much. Push, push. Four more, here's four. Then we lift the leg or the toes in line with the knee. In two, in one, right here, lift it up. Lift, toes together, lift, toes together. Yes, so good. Lift up, toes together. Feeling left side so much. We're very close to the end. Keep pushing, you've got this. Lift up, toes together. We got eight, seven, this is your final push. Six, five, four more, here's four. Here's three, here's two, and one. Lower it down, awesome job. All right, press yourself up. We're gonna do a little kneeling oblique sequence. So we'll be on knees facing a long edge of the mat. From here, let's start left leg out long and then arms overhead. We're gonna lean over to the right and then come back up to this shape. Play your shoulders, rest down your back. Option, hands behind the head, a little bit easier. So we'll lean over to the right Use the core, lift yourself back up. So we'll lean over, lift it up. Already feeling that. Your chest is broad, your arms are strong and straight. So we'll get the shoulders a little bit here as well. Lower down, lift up. Belly button to spine the whole time. And if you feel your low back picking up the work, I want you to take the hands behind the head. Lower lift. What you should be feeling right now is your left side obliques. They're helping to pull you back up to neutral. Yes. Lift up, lower down. Slow and controlled. We got eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five, Four more, here's four, then we're gonna hold it. We're gonna rotate the chest down in two. In one, hold it here, rotate your chest down, and then pull it back up. Rotate, lift. Woo, that's a lot on the low back. If you need to, skip the rotation, just hold and pulse. Lift up, turn down, lift up, Turn down. We got eight, seven, six, and we're gonna land the right hand down. Left arm stays by the ear. We'll lift the left leg, pull the elbow to the knee. Not yet. In two, in one right here, land your right hand down, left leg lifts. Pull, extend, pull, extend. Beautiful out, 
in, out, in. Try to get them to touch, but you're keeping the chest broad. Yes. We got eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, and we keep it long. We pulse arm and leg in four, in three, in two, in one. Hold it long, little pulses up. We got eight, seven, six, five. Then we're gonna step the left foot down. We're gonna come all the way onto our side. Get the right inner thigh in two, in one. Step your left foot down in front of your right knee. Then straighten your right leg out as you come all the way down. Lift the right leg, lift up, lower down. All right, now we're on our side, our right side. You're lifting right leg off the mat. I want you to flex your foot and then send your heel away from you. Yes, that will activate the leg. Lower down, lift up, pulse it right here. Little lift, little lift. We're almost done with this side, then we switch. We got four, three, two, one. Lower down, awesome job. Come all the way up onto your knees. This time right leg goes long. Reach the arms up, just lower. We'll go down and lift. Lower and lift, yes. Breathing. Chest is broad. Now you're using your right side obliques to lift you back up. You've got it. We got eight, seven, six. Push into your right foot. It's your point of contact, your stability. Here's four. We're gonna hold it low. We'll rotate the chest down towards the mat. In two, in one right here. Rotate, open. Little twist, open. Holy obliques, they are on fire. So good. Rotate, open. Little twist and lift. Yes. We're close, give me eight more. You've got this. Here's eight. Here's six, and we land the left hand down. We'll curl right elbow to right knee, right here. Land it down, lift the right foot in, out, knee in, extend, yes. Reach, pull. We got eight, seven, six, five, Here's four, we keep it long, we pulse in three, two, one, keep it long, little pulses, lift up, lift up, we got eight, seven, six, and we'll step the right foot down, lay all the way onto the left side, finish the inner thigh, right here, right foot down, left leg long, come all the way down, right knee in front of you, flex the left toes, lift up, lower down, lift up, Lower down, yes. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Breathing. Lower down, lift up. Try to lift your whole IT band off the mat. That's the outside of your thigh. All right, we hold it up, we pulse. Right here, little lifts up and up. Lift and lift. We're so close to being done. Keep pushing, I know you can. Four more. Here's four, here's three, a little higher. Here's two, and one, lower it down. Awesome job. All right, we're rolling onto our back from here. I'm gonna sweep my feet the other way so the sun isn't in my eyes. And then we'll come all the way down onto our back. We're gonna finish with a bridge sequence. We'll also add in a little bit of core, more obliques to burn them out. So. Hands behind the head, just an option. You can also do this without the core. Right foot plants, left leg lifts. We're just gonna lift up. So we'll go hips up, hips down. Lift up, lower down. Really dig your right heel into the mat. Feel the backside of your right leg working. Up and down, lift and lower. Yes. Belly bend to spine. 
lift, lower. Glute max one more time. Really feel that working. Also, hamstrings, inner thigh. We got eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five. We keep it lifted in four. In three, we'll find a little pulse. In two, in one, keep it lifted, pulse straight up. We got eight, seven, yes, six, five. Here's four, then we're gonna keep the hips up. We're gonna twist right elbow to the left knee, then lower the leg as we lay back right here. So we twist in, lay back, twist, lay back. Your left leg is moving. Your right leg is stabilizing. I know it's hard, but I promise you can do it. It's temporary. We're gonna be done soon, so can you give it your all? Eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, and then we switch sides. In three, in two, in one, lower it down. Oh my goodness, left foot will plant. Right leg lifts, hips up right here. Hips up, hips down, hips up and down. Really dig your left heel into the mat now. Find that mind muscle connection with your left side. Right side's probably still feeling it. Lift, lower, lift, lower. But to take your mind off of your right side, really focus on your left. Lift, lower. This side doesn't have to look the same. Go for the same feeling, the sensation. We got eight more. Eight, seven, six, and we'll pulse. Four more, we're there. Here's four. Three, we keep it lifted. In two, in one, keep it lifted, little pulses. Lift, lift push. Really small, really precise. Core is engaged. Yes. Little lift, little lift, lift. All right, we hold it up. We find that twist in three, two, one right here. Twist, lay back. Twist, lay back. Burning out the obliques one more time. You've got this. Twist, lay back. Twist, lay back. Breathe. We got eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Woo! Awesome job. All right, let the knees fall wide. Feet together, opening up the inner thighs. Letting the glutes relax onto the mat. Open your arms out by the sides. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through your mouth. Let it go. Again, big breath in. Fill the lungs to capacity. Notice how that feels. And release. Letting it go. Sinking into the mat a little bit more. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful, then reach the arms overhead, stretch the legs long, full body stretch. And then draw the knees into the chest. Let's make some circles. Circling out the lumbar spine, the sacrum, and then switch. Step the feet down, cross the right leg over the left. Breathe figure four, pull the knees into the chest. You can rock a little bit side to side, opening up the glutes, the hamstring, the hip. And then release, stretch the right leg straight up to the sky, flexing the foot, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. And then we'll switch, cross the left leg over, pull the knees into the chest. And then rock side to side, maybe. And 
And then release, right foot down, left leg to the sky. Pull the leg in gently. And then release, pull the knees into the chest. Let's rock up to a seat. We'll find a twist. So come to seated. You could also sit onto the knees rather than cross-legged if that feels better. Reach the fingers up to the sky, big stretch, and then twist over to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath here. Move through center, reach the arms up, and then other side, twist to the left. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll the shoulders back. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale to move back through center, sweep the arms up to the sky, and then side, bend over to the right and to the left. A couple times. You could straighten the legs out to a straddle, get a little inner thigh stretch as well. Beautiful. And then come back through center. You are done. Awesome job today. I hope you love this class. Please let me know in the comments if you did. As always, give it a like, subscribe so that you never miss a video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.